So I just started at Baylor University Theater, and as part of my interview, it's been a big research focus of mine is 3D printing, the theoretical side of how it's changing manufacturing, apparel, and design. I was really drawn to Baylor both uh, because of the size of the university, the research capabilities, and really just the people in the department. 3D printing started as a way of rapid prototyping back in the 70s, and so it's recently transitioned to rapid manufacturing where we're creating end pieces. And we've been using commercial machines for years to do those types of things, but recently the machines have become a lot more affordable, and really high-end hobby-grade machines have become available. And it's made it affordable for theaters, universities, um, to get involved in using them to make smaller pieces, props, sets, or costume-related. There's a lot of advantages of 3D printing. Uh, first and foremost is the ability to customize pieces that would just be too time consuming or complicated to make by hand. There's a ton of software available and most of it's actually free. Specifically in this case, when we're talking about something like a button, we had the opportunity to work out what we wanted. And once we had one, we could print several of them. In a case with a dress, we have one size down the front. We've got a smaller size on the cuff and then we made a larger size for the cape. It'll always be important to learn the classic methods, learning about color and form, and all of the elements of art are always going to be essential. But if you've got students that are coming out of programs with all the traditional skills, and then you have other designers that are coming out with the traditional skills plus 3D printing, it certainly does give them an edge in the marketplace.